what's up everybody welcome to another video in the series and in this video we'll be solving the next problem which is a very big sum let's check it out calculate and find the sum of the elements in an array keeping in mind that some of those integers may be quite large and let me tell you that for python that's not a problem so it does not matter uh, how big a number is you can always perform any type of calculation as long as your machine can handle it so this would be a problem for people who would be programming in C or C++ because they would have to uh, write, uh, they would have to use, I guess, long, long integers or other things in Java, you would have to use big integer, but in Python, it does not really make a difference because in int, you can store it, any value, it, it, it does not matter. Okay, so we're just going to, okay, so let's see. Input format, the first line contains the number of uh, integers and in the second line you will have all those numbers. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of that. In the first line we're taking an input, it does not really matter. So it doesn't matter if you store it somewhere, I'm not going to store it anywhere. And in the second line you would be um, taking a list. You would have to do input uh, split and then you're converting the splitted input into an integer one by one using map and then you're converting the entire thing into a list and then actually you don't have to store this one anywhere either you can simply do sum and then you can simply print that out so if you do that that should be working let's see run and it's working let's see if submission is working and it's working perfect Okay, so that was really easy. I mean, that's like one line of code basically because this line isn't really doing anything. So, but I don't recommend you to code like that. I mean that, yeah, it looks cool, but uh, it can soon get very complicated. So I would suggest that you store it somewhere, maybe in L, and then you can use some functionality and then you can print that somewhere. So if you run it again, it would work again, obviously. So you should store it somewhere I mean, because I mean, this is just like a, like a two line code. So it does not really matter if you save it somewhere or not. But for projects and stuff like that, I would I wouldn't recommend you to code like that because it can get co more complicated for people who are looking at your code for the first time. Or even if you are looking at your code app for a long time, it does not make sense. Right. So, OK, it's working. So. Yeah, that's the solution for this one, and I'll see you in the next one for the next problem. If you have any doubts, I hope you don't, because <laughs> we didn't really do anything. We just printed the sum. So, But if you do, still, then put them down in the comments below, and I'll, I'm going to answer. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.